Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to perform any of the video motion capture for your Icon 8 3D animation software. Now you can see at the left, this is the video source. At the right, this is my Icon 8 3D animation software. And how to just use a video just by using your own video to let the AI to perform the motion capture for your Icon 8 3D animation and everything is just really, really easy by following my step by step. If you not yet get the Icon 8 3D animation software, you can just go to the freedom3d.net, go to my website to get the Icon 8. And if you need a lot of the 3D models and 3D scans, you can get it from my website freedom3d.org. Everything are free. And then you'll, if you need other tutorials like the Blender and Unreal Engines, you can just go to freedom3d.art. I have three websites and every content I already categorized it systematically. You can get it really easy. So start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step how to perform the video motion capture by using the AI for your Icon 8 3D animations, the step-by-step -step tutorial. Let's go! Before that, if you love the 3D animation tutorial by using the Icon's Android engines, Blender, etc., you can just subscribe to my YouTube channel at the bottom and turn on the notifications, turn on the mini bell, so that when next time, when I publish a new video tutorials or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. All right. Let's start from the beginning. I'm going to just create a fresh new project in Icon 8 3D animation software. Everything will just go through a very easy step. Next step, go to my video descriptions, get the first link, the download the 3D post tracker from the link that I provided. And next, once you already click into the link, it is going to lead you to my site. Get the 3D post tracker, just scroll down, go and download from the first or second download link, the 3D post tracker. Just download and extract it, extract the zip folder, make it into your computer. Now, you can see the 3D post tracker ESE is that here. Right. Then, for the Icon 8, you have to download the 3DX profile for Icon 8 and Character Creator. This is the third link that I provided in the same site. Get the 3DX profile. Just download here. And then, save it in your computer. So now, I show you what you need. Alright, now, have a look. The first one is the software. Just make sure it's standby before you start this tutorial. The 3D post tracker EXE. Then the 3D post tracker CC4 profile. This is for Icon 8 and Corrector Creator 4. These two are very important. Then the next step, the most important part, just use your camera or phone to take a video like this. You can see this is just a sample video. You can capture a lot of video by using your cell phones, your camera, even your webcam. Just prepare it in MP4 format. Alright, now we can start. First, just open the 3D post tracker. And wait for a while, now it is loading. Then, next, you have to upload the video to the 3D post tracker just by clicking the source. Then choose a file. And this, this file is on my desktop at here. So I double click it. Now it already loaded. Next, go to the go to the avatar. Alright, and have a look. Actually, it's, it's nothing here. So, here, click the upper mode. Make sure you choose the full body 
and activate use hand tracking so that your hands and finger will get tracked make sure it is full body all right then click export all right so here is the most crucial part we are going to let the ai to just go and convert the video into the body motions so just follow the steps here first click start recording then click start now the video will show here and you can see this 3d avatar is following the video now it is recording so you can just wait for a while until you feel you want to stop it now it is recording the red button shows recording now if you click it it will stop immediately so now if i want to I want to record until here I want to stop I click here I click the recording now to make it stop see I click it now it is going to prompt a save file options it is going to save as bvh and as demo I will just save it on my desktop and click save now you can see the bvh file is already saved at here then you stop stop the video now now we can back to the icon 8 everything will be just really easy i'm going to just use any of a 3d avatar it can be i avatar it can be cc4 avatar etc i'm going to use the actor core i'm going to use a kit just drag it out into the icon 8 then so far everything are are really easy next next up the bvh file drag and drop into this 3d avatar then if this conversation pop out just click ok the motion profile just go and open this one the 3dx profile that you downloaded just now click here to open it it is on my desktop the 3dx profile you can see the file name is 3d post tracker 062 cc4 profile 3dx profile double click to open then click convert all now now you try to play and just have a look this is exactly the mockup just now see it is from the bbh file now it is already imported into the icon 8 3d animation software and you can immediately use the bbh file in any 3d avatar this is really simple really easy you can follow that sh shouldn't have any problem to follow this tutorial now actually it already automatic converted to become a motion file you can find it from the custom animations motion external motions now actually it is at here this is the motion file see look at the name 1435 1435 this is exactly the motions that it automatically converted to become the RL motions you right click find the file then it is going to open by using the explorer you can see the red uh, it is orange color cl clipping it is at here this is the rl motions that it automatically converted from the bbh just now right click view in large icons you can see then you can use this rl motions anytime where next time if you want to use it in any other 3d avatar you don't need the bvh file anymore you can just direct use the rl motion everything are really easy and then the 3d post tracker is a free software you can free to perform any of the video you can record any of the video by yourself and convert it to become the icon motion file and use it in any of your 3d avatar this simple all right that's all for today about my tutorials on how to convert any of the video file to make it become the ai video motion motion capture the ai mockup to make it become a 3d animations and 
I clone a 3D animation software. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. Don't forget to check my website freedom3d.net, freedom3d.org, and freedom3d.art for more 3D resources in 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing. See you in my next video. See you.